Greetings Christchurch family. We are indeed in trying times when we're not able to meet together around God's word at CCH as we always do. But this coming weekend is a precious weekend. We are over Good Friday and Easter weekend. And this is the time when we normally gather and not only hear God's word, but also share in the Lord's Supper. And since we are not able to do that, we will be sharing the Lord's Supper and the comfort of your home. So the way we're going to do it, I'm going to start by prayer and then I'll give you a moment to pray as a family and then we will pray a prayer of confession, which I will pray and you'll join me with Amen at the end. Let me pray as we start. Our gracious Heavenly Father and Eternal God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus Christ, that he came, that he died for our sins, that he rose from the dead for our salvation, and that it is seated at your right hand in heaven today and is interceding for us. Lord, I want to pray and lift each and every family, who's family member who is partaking in the Lord's Supper. Lord, would you please encourage them, restore hope, and help each and every one of them to remember that you will come back and take us home as you promise. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now I'm going to give you a chance as a family just to pray and then I'll call you. Now that you have prayed together as a family, may I then invite you to come and join me in the confession. Almighty God, creator of the universe and judge of all, we confess that we have sinned against you in our thought, word and deed. We have not loved you as we ought. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. Most merciful God, through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all the sins we have done and the good we have left undone. And grant that we serve you and please you from this time forward, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the Bible promises us that if we genuinely confess our sins, the Lord is faithful and will forgive us. And now I would like us to take the moment, take the bread, pass it around to family members. The scripture tells us that on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took bread in his hand. He gave God thanks. And he gave it to his disciple, say, take and eat this. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the meal, Jesus took the cup in his hand. He gave God thanks. Then he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is given for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Drink this as often as you do it in remembrance of me. Let's drink together. Again, I'm giving you a moment to give thanks to the Lord for all that he has done for you. And then I'll close with a benediction. Well, let's close together saying, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. And you can join me in saying, Amen. Amen, my brothers and sisters. And I really do hope soon we'll be able to meet together. Till then, the Lord keep you, the Lord protect you, and the Lord bless you. Amen.